So I'm Monica and I'm Wensi. Wensi. <laughs> Wensi. And today Wensi and I are going to demonstrate a really simple yoga hack that you can take into your practice that I think will help you notice some really great differences. We're going to show the transition from downward dog into crescent, crescent moon, moon lunge. And uh, this is something that I was doing in a really, really ineffective way for a long time until Wensi so gloriously intervened and showed me the light. So I'm going to get Wensi to take me through this same demonstration that she showed me a little while back so that you guys can benefit from it too. So starting from downward dog position, let's go into tabletop first. Always set up for success. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Curl the toes under and hover the knees over the mat. Send the hips back towards. Nice. So now we're in a downward dog position. Melt the heart towards that. Extend the right hip up. And this is a crucial part, bending the knee. Now, wrap the lower back first, coming forward. Come forward and pull towards the chest, doming the upper back. Don't let and step through. Now normally, what would you do, Monica, for uh, stepping through? I'm good with that. Where people actually pull the leg out, externally rotate, coming through to step forward. So that's a little compensation because they can't hip flex. Coming through. Don't make the upper back, pushing through the hands, and step forward. If that's the only far, uh, furthest that they can go, Monica, can you grab the right foot and pull it, give it a little boost, yes. Bring your arms up towards the sky and to a knee down variation, pressing the knee mini back bend. This will set up for success so that you don't have to actually pull through. Give it a little boost if, you, if the boost, the foot doesn't go between the hands. The little boost <laughs> totally changed the way my hips felt in that position, so I definitely recommend you try it, especially for someone like me who has difficulty flexing through your spine and flexing your hip, so curling into that tight little ball, which is really important also for things like setting up for a, a handstand or doing crow or doing headstands or anything that requires you to keep yourself in a tight position. Can you come back into the dome again? Sure, um, I'll do my best. <laughs> it's not easy. And bring the hand uh, and come down, down, down. Good. Coming forward. Can you see this position? I know it's hard. So when you down here, it gives us so much more clearance and height. And step forward. Good. Give it a little boost. Stay right there. Now with that boost, it will imprint a better pattern in your body, so that when you do able to pull through without having giving a boost, that's a little step to get through there. Yeah. Simple little hack, but it can make a huge difference. So yes. give it a try. Give it a good core workout as well. Yeah. 